guys, Master JRB here today. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, school's been kind of getting in the way. But anyway, yeah. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to show hidden files on Mac OS X. Uh, if you're wondering what version, this will work on, it should work on most versions. Uh, you. Most people have the newest version. I don't know why you would have the old version, like 10.4, but you should be fine. Okay, so you're going to open up Terminal. That's what I'm in here. Um, you're going to, uh, and when this thing comes up, you're going to type in the string here. It's defaults write com.apple.finder, apple show all files, minus bool then true. Okay, if you didn't quite get that, or you can't really see this, um, this will be in the description, so uh, look below. Uh, okay, so you're going to type that in. Uh, make sure the end says true. Press enter. Uh, then you're going to you're gonna probably look at your finder and go, well, what happened? Um, I don't see any of my hidden files. Well, finder has to be restarted in order to do in order to see the hidden files for this um, setting that we just changed to take effect so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type kill all finder okay uh, before you do this if you have any processes running or anything that finders doing like if you're copying something or down no not downloading something that'd be safari uh uh, but if you have anything going on with Finder, like you're copying or doing whatever, uh, it's like some big file or whatever, uh, wait for that to finish before you do this because this will stop it and you'll have a half-finished file. Uh, anyway, okay, so make sure you capital F when you type Finder. Okay, press enter. Uh, now, if you s could see your desktop, your icons would have flashed. Uh, just a second. See, so it's all kind of unarranged over here, so I'm going to rearrange my desktop. Okay. Uh, like here, I'll do the kill all finder thing again, just so you can see what should happen. Uh, don't freak out. You, this won't mess up your computer. See? Your icons just flicker off. Uh, clo finder closes. Okay. So, anyway. Um, you're going to see these things on your desktop that... Um, sorry, just a sec. Um these things that weren't there before like .ds store and .localize don't delete those okay those are systems files and if you do they could it could screw up your computer but that's one thing why uh, hidden files is kind of dangerous because if you go and you accidentally delete some important file uh, like a properties file your computer could have problems uh, just don't me don't mess around with anything uh, now, for whatever reason that you're watching this, like if you just want to like hide your files or something, there are other ways to do that, and you can watch my video on encrypting files. Uh, there will be a link to that in the description. Um, okay, so let's open up the Finder here. As you can see now we have all this stuff here that looks kind of transparent with a period in front of it. Okay, don't delete any of that. So, how you make a hidden file, if you're wondering, uh, like I'm just going to use te a text edit file. So, I'm going to put up text edit. I'm going to say, this is an example of a hidden in file. Okay, I'm going to save it. Save. Uh, okay, I'm going to save it in my home folder. Okay, so. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna save it as a hidden file, so I'm just gonna say test. Save. Okay, so we got our test thing here. Now we're gonna rename it. No, not open it. Rename it. Kind of click it on it. Or you can do right click, get info. You rename it here. Uh, which will show you the extension too. Okay, so you're gonna, in front of the name, you're gonna put a period and press enter. You'll get this warning. 
Uh, are you sure you want to use a name that begins with a dot? The system treats these items with these names as invisible files. Okay. Just press OK. Okay, and see now it's transparent and it's joined the rest of them. So that's how to hide a file, uh, if you're wondering. Anyway, okay. Um, and how to turn it off. Okay, so you're basically going to write the same string that you did before. Um, so if you, to make it easier, you can actually press the up button uh, until you see that come up. That's how you view your recent commands. Uh, and how you turn it off, you just ch change the true at the end to false. Press enter, and then we do kill all finder, capital F. Press enter, and if we go and look now, now all the fi all we don't see them anymore. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll have more videos soon. Um, and if you have a request for a video, just message me, uh, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, see ya.